Hello, everybody. Hello, Window Rock. What a great crowd. I'm really excited to be here. And I'm really excited to welcome Governor Walls to the Navajo Nation. Folks, there is an election in just 10 days. And Tim Walls, Governor Walls could be anywhere in the country. But he's here. He's here in Window Rock on the Navajo Nation because he and Kamala Harris care about you. They care about this community. And they care about the unique challenges that you all face. They care about earning your vote so they can partner with you to solve these challenges. Kamala Harris has already shown that as vice president. And working together, working together, we are bringing running water and electricity to Navajo homes. We're bringing high-speed internet to more of the Navajo community. And we're investing in tribal schools and hospitals. And folks, that's what happens, and that's what's possible when you elect leaders who listen to and prioritize your community. Leaders like Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. And leaders like my friend Jonathan Nez, who is going to win, by the way, and is going to be the first Native American to represent Arizona in the U.S. Congress. Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not understand Native communities. He does not respect tribal sovereignty. His Project 2025, that agenda, would threaten tribal and public lands and roll back environmental protections. And in a community where so many folks have served in our military, Donald Trump doesn't understand that either. I got a question for you guys. Are there, are there any Marine veterans here? U.S. Marines? How about family members of Marines? Now that feels like about half of the crowd. You know, Donald Trump, Donald Trump called more than 1,800 U.S. Marines who lost their lives at Bella Wood in World War I as suckers. He also referred to service members who died in World War I and who were buried in France as losers. And Trump's own chief of staff, Marine Corps General John Kelly warned just this week. Now, these are his words, and I quote, Trump met the definition of a fascist, would govern like a dictator if allowed, and has no understanding of the Constitution or the concept of rule of law. Donald Trump doesn't get us veterans. He doesn't understand us. He doesn't understand service, what it means to put something else ahead of himself. That's why he cannot be commander in chief again. So folks, how do we keep that from happening? It's not rocket science. If it was, I could help, but it ain't. It's all about who works harder. That's it. It's pretty simple. So 
here's my job for all of you. First order of business, you got to make a plan to vote. So find your nearest Dropbox or vote center, and you can go to this website, IWillVote.com. That's IWillVote.com. If you need assistance with voting and you want to get some assistance over the phone, there's a voter hotline that has assistance available in Diné. And that number is 833-VOTE, the number 4-AZ. So write this down if you've got a pen. 833-868-3429. I'm going to say it again. 833-868-3429. And once you vote, once you got it all figured out and you voted, I want you to go help your friends and family members to vote as well. This is really important. At this point, this is the entire election. And the difference between Kamala Harris and Governor Walls winning in the state of Arizona or Donald Trump and that other guy, the difference could be here on the Navajo Nation. So it's going to take every single one of us to make sure that this happens. If we work harder, in 10 days, we will turn the page and move our country forward with great leaders who will listen and respect this community. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Don't forget to vote.